beer dough with garlic and cheese with no tomato sauce. So let's try this. First, we are going to go over how to make pizza dough using beer. Let's do it. It can bring a unique flavor to your homemade pizza and provides a different option for pizza parties. I've created a simple recipe for making beer infused pizza dough. My ingredients are 500 grams of pizza flour, 150 grams of IPA beer or beer, any beer, 150 grams of water, 9 grams of salt, 0.6 grams to 2 grams of dried yeast, How much yeast you use depends on what time of year it is. I normally use about 0.6 grams in the summer and when it gets really cold, I change that to two grams of dried yeast. Basically, I activate the yeast using a part of the recipe water, mix them in. I then combine the salt with the other part of the water that's in the recipe. Add the ingredients to your mixing bowl or in my case, to the bread machine bowl for kneading. Once your dough has kneaded, you will need to place it in the fridge for 24 hours and then remove it back to room temperature. At this stage, you can also freeze your dough ready for when you need it next. Make sure at this stage you are preheating your pizza oven. So once your dough ball has reached room temperature, start the stretching process. And then pull the dough onto your launch peel. Add your toppings and it's ready for the cook. A dinky little one, I think. This one. Just turn it. Turn it before I burn it. trying the beer dough with garlic and cheese with no tomato sauce so let's try this
that is really tasty. I think that the dough, the beer dough, is got a nice like edge to it, like a like a slightly hoppy, soury edge to the dough, which I couldn't have created any other way. It's a great alternative to normal dough, so give it a try. It's really easy to do, and uh, it really does pop your 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 dough. It kind of pops the dough flavour, and I room proofed and refrigerated the dough and brought them back to room temperature so it's had two proofs so it's um yeah I really love it do you put tomato sauce in it or other things I like things quite um light so with not too many heavy flavors on there so I can pick out the flavor of the dough and we can get this in Doo -doo. That beer dough with garlic and cheese. flower here is my beer dough oh bee cheese and garlic and a little bit of nice tasty herby stuff mm. same as the coda 12 same lovely taste cooked it the same as the coda 12 i think this is more about how the coda 16 cooked this different to the coda 12 i think it's cooked it the same we can check the pictures here same dough, same toppings. Because it tastes nice in both of them, so that's why I tried both of the ovens in case you, you've either got the Coda 12 or the Coda 16. I don't know which one you've got. Okay, so let's um let's give this a try. Very nice, very hoppy. The tomatoes on the top was actually really nice. 150 grams of the IPA was just right. I gotta be careful that Code 16 doesn't burn my back. You can experiment with different beer to find the flavor or taste that best suits you. I like to use strong flavored beer. Check out my herb infused pizza dough too that I've made linked in the description above and below. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.